and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Swole Cat bringing this back for Meme Tier Monday. This is our favorite one that we played last week on Meme Tier Monday and I just wanted to play it again. I've been waiting to play this deck again. Definitely been thinking about taking this one over to Ranked but we're going to just throw it in here on Meme Tier Monday again just like last week. Um, this one is just really cool. We are playing um, Katarina in here which was an all-star but then also Cat of the Arm. That, that's going to be pumping up Swole Squirrel. We're going to be trying out uh, Swole Squirrel, trying to make the squirrel really big, because of course each time it strikes, you double its power. And we want to give it Overwhelm with Cat of the Arm or Might, or give it Elusive with Fey Guide. So a couple of ways to help it strike the opponent's Nexus as well. And then we just got a, a bunch of good support things. And just some good ways to control the board and some good finishers like Captain Farron. So here we go. Let's go play our five games. Uh, do, 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 do. Swole Cat. Swole Cat. Swole Cat. Do, 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 do. Swole Cat. Do, 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 do. Sorry. <laughs> I'm singing over here. It's Beam Tier Monday. We're going to have some fun. We're going to have Gem Assembler. <clears throat> where that's going to be a spicy one up next where we're going to have puff caps and gems and assembly bot and J Madarda. that's a spicy one let's see what do we got misfortune quinn definitely like culling strike against misfortune quinn we will we'll look in the swole squirrel from the opener because we'll just get another one anyway and then we got uh, an encroaching shadows deck that's going to be real aggressive with the Ephemerals. And then Call the Wild, Elnux, and Yetis together. So we got some spicy ones here on Meme Tier Monday. Guess we're going. Guess we're going. That's right, Beauty and the Blade, this blade right here. We'll just go with the Swole Squirrel first. Yeah. Who does not know the name, this doesn't seem like a very good attack. Ooh, but now I could have Shen protect Squirrel. Smell that? A bite to cook. They're probably attacking. Fortune favors the Yuck. So this can do four damage. They can't kill Shen. The eye of twilight sees all. Head to the face. Hardly fair. Eat up, friend. All right, so I I can use my might to just trade here. I think that's probably the best thing to do. It's not how we want to use it, but I think it's how we have to use it. I can kill their war chefs, and our Shen takes three damage, so our Shen goes down to being a three-two to kill their war chefs. Immediately. All right, we can do that. Love ya. My plan is to give the Shen elusive, so I can attack with the Shen and have it not die. Right, and then, because we got six mana this next turn, so we're going to go Fey Guide and then Glory Seeker. And I can have Shen give the Glory Seeker a barrier to kill Misfortune. Alright, well I had a plan. Plan doesn't always work out. Let's go Kato and attack for a bunch. My strength is yours. I'll take that trade. Kato for Genevieve. And now our one two is a three two. So we can check Misfortune. Follow my lead. 
No, I don't want to follow your lead. I guess it's just Kato again. We can't play Glory Seeker. We could pay, play the Fey Guide, but that doesn't really do a whole lot. Sweet. Alright, Grant Cato Elusive. I gotta show you the sights of Billswater. The sights are fine. The smells, on the other hand. Victory yeah, they're not good. I agree. Blade. Queen. Okay, so they're at 13. I'll cut them apart. You are mine. Yeah, let's give this thing overwhelm. So that's gonna be eleven damage. I give you right the there. Muscles. Also, I should have just cast the Might right away. Like, okay. So they do that, and they're doing no blocks. Alright, if we Might, like, one of these things, they die. What if, what if I Might the Glory Seeker? They also, they, like, die even more, right? They should die even more. That's gonna be 8 Overwhelm. Yeah, they died even more. Because if I would have put the Might on one of these, they would have gone to negative one. Putting it on that thing, they go to negative three. So gotta... <clears throat> gotta make the correct plays. Alright, looks like we're playing Zombie Anivia. Let's get rid of the spells. Keep our Lulu. Now we got a nice 2 3 4 support chain. We could use the one drop tomorrow. Won't have that one drop today. Nothing escapes my watch. Well, I guess I do this. I keep step with the heartbeat of Nexus. Safeguard our homes. Could play the glory seeker here. Especially drawing the transfusion. I'm gonna keep the transfusion mana available. No. We'll save the better card. Plus seven's a lot of damage. Trying to do another avalanche with that quick pass. There's nothing a good giggle can't fix. Ooh. No. I say the drummer. get the most damage in there. Down to eight. I guess Young Witch would have been more would have been one extra point of damage. Because we would have just made the Young Witch four and then Young Witch would have supported the Shen. We'll see. I'm not keeping Stand United up to just get rid of a blocker. We'll see if that... Okay. Um, doesn't hurt me. Just like you showed me, Lulu. 
Okay, so... Hmm... Lulu support this thing. That thing support Shen. Shen support this thing. No, I want... I want Lulu supported. Yeah, because we want to do the third support before Lulu anyway. Yeah, that looks good. So Shen's at 2 out of 4, so we're not going to be able to get any kind of bonus with adding power with this Shen right now. Ready the torches. The Kinku go where they are needed. They are under my protection. So the barrier will take the damage, so they won't gain any life, and there we go, 9 damage. Stand united. Let's go around again. <laughs> it just stops like the lethal amount of damage. As far as like overwhelm over a barrier, basically all you have to do is assign the amount of damage that would kill the unit, whatever that the health is for that unit. So you know, like the, the unit has three health and it has a barrier, then you only have to assign the three damage to the to the unit and then the rest can overwhelm over it's just the barrier will stop that damage um but like as you're striking you're you're still only striking for the amount of like the barrier is not strong enough to stop all the damage it just stops the damage that would be the lethal amount of damage i guess i don't know i guess that's like the that's like the flavor of like how it happens of like you see the unit has three health, and so you you strike the unit for three. And then the rest overwhelm over. We'll be we playing against Twisted Fate. That card's good. Yeah, that's true, Cabo. It's difficult for me to edit. Uh, the thing that's kind of been challenging is it's kind of difficult to edit four videos in one day. Because editing does, you know, take like an hour of video or so. And so doing four, four of them in a day has been a little difficult. But I'm going to keep at it. I've just been using the YouTube video editor, which all it does is just clip, you know, clip out segments. That's all. It, that's all I can do is just take out some segments, and only up to 50 segments. So a lot of times I'll take out enough segments through the first like four matches and not be able to take anything else out for the rest. Spark and I will keep you safe. <laughs> Picks this job, Samo. But I'm gonna keep working on it. Deal me in. Soak it in. Spark knows the way. You're so hungry. All right, let's do this. Get a nice support on this flower child. Make it a big threat. Plus two, plus one. Trying to kill my Lulu, that's not cool. So my Lulu's only going to have one health, but we'll still be alive. But one is not very much health. I'm glad they didn't like red card or anything with that twisted fate. Yet I don't know if I luck is smiling. Yeah, I think it's just Cato. That's our best play here. Even if Lulu dies, hopefully our flower child can stay alive and we could support that, give it another plus five, plus zero, and overwhelm. Plus then we'd have our might. They could give the Cato overwhelm. Yeah, 
Young witch, no. See, so I'd have to give I'd have to do like this for supporting, because it'd make no sense to have Lulu support Cato the arm. I do kind of want to play Glory Seeker and Katarina. Um, but you know, I don't I don't like having this Lulu at one health. This bumps it up to two. They would play the Young Witch for a blocker, but I would have the Blade's Edge to be able to kill the Young Witch. So I'm just going to take 12. Take 12, take 12. Ooh. This might work. Okay, well, that looks good. Use a might right there. That's gonna be a lot of damage. All right, I was warned. <clears throat> and the game's over, GG's. So, Cat of the Arm still keeping our Swole Cat name alive, even though Swole, Swole Squirrel not so much. <laughs> this deck is the definition of cheese. Mm -hmm. Cheese is good. All right, same thing. Let's look for some cheaper things. Katarina is a late game card. It's not a three drop. So we're going to mulligan that. Looking for our ones and twos. Ones, twos, and champions. Bless the people and the heritage. <laughs> Harvey agrees. Look for ones, twos, and champions. All right, let's go with the Legion Drummer. We march as one, an unstoppable force. Okay, leading with Flower Child, because that still lets me keep Pulling Strike available for just a second. We'll see kind of what they do with their mana, whether or not we want to play another... Let's see, I Pulling Strike the 3-6. They, ha they have their 2-2 two -two block my 3-2. They just take four damage. Yeah, I'll say just attack with Young Witch. It's probably the best thing to do. It makes me sad though. We better have a Leona for me to kill. Victory requires a Trifarian Glory Seeker. Sure, I mean, what do you want to kill? Darkness hides in my path. Well, that's not cool either. The world awaits! Forward! Follow the horizon! You are mine! Yes. My own glory seeker. I need just a moment. My faith protects me. Stop. Alright, well if they play a Leona now, Leona will be four out of six, so it will be just a four six, so Culling Strike will not be killing Leona. Okay, so you support you, you support you, who supports you, and you go over here. We attack so quick. So quick. That was too quick. Sharpen the blades, cure the kill. Yuck. Um, I'll just wait on playing this Glory Seeker. We'll see. You know, like we're at five right now, so playing this will would be our sixth spawn. We'll just wait. We can play it against next turn. No, I don't like that. Yeah. 
but I guess I forced them to do that. Because if they don't do that, then I get a good 3-4 block on these things. Darn. They figured it out. I don't want to make this trade. No, going to one's too risky. That's too risky, going to one. <laughs> I know, right? Sun Guardian? Why does the sun even need guarding? Guarding. It's the sun. <laughs> yeah, if I don't make that block, we lose to Pale Cascade. Zenith Blade. Why? Okay, so that thing's... Why? Yeah, I wonder why they did that. Probably should just be doing this right now. Okay. I don't want them to have another Zenith Blade, and then that thing has too much health, because it has Overwhelm, and it's pretty big. Don't want them to play a Leona, and it's done. Two worlds, one balance. Best blocks. No! Brothers Bond? Ugh. Wow. Defeated. Six mana, eight, seven, overwhelm. Dang. That's pretty big. If you're not, if you don't cost one or two mana or a champion, I'm not keeping you. Mulligan. That's the rules. Yeah, I think that was the top tech too, right? Because they could, no, I guess they could not have killed me the turn before with it. So they didn't ramp. You're mine. That card did save them a lot of life. I'm going to need to have Shen do a lot of work for me. One star's whoopsie is another spark. The fate of mortals and spirits falls to me. Man, I hope they don't have another avalanche. Let's take down Katarina. Pretty sure I'm supposed to play Katarina here. So we can start leveling up Katarina. We could just go. Well, let's see. If I I guess if I do play Katarina, they play Trundle. <clears throat> Life's kinda bad. Maybe it's better just to simply kill this thing. That's fine. 
Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm fine trading a hush for that card. I'll have Stand United next turn to protect this. Uh, Katarina. It's just a nick. In case of Sweeper. Or Spirit's Refuge now. Yeah, they could they could have another avalanche. Awesome. I sense an imbalance. Alright, so Lulu would be leveled up. We have supported three times. No one gets in my way. We should go play the Katarina and the Fake Eyed. These are trolls! All right, so this can work. I don't remember exactly how to click this. I know this is a weird click with the Stand United. So we're going to... I think I click this one first. Well, let's see. No, 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 no. We click, we click this one first. Okay, so basically, Shen's at three out of four. I need to give one of these two a barrier... And then I need the other one to get the barrier second to get plus three, plus zero. And I need that other one to be Katarina. But I think this card works backwards, which is weird. So I think we click this one to get the barrier second. And then this one. The king could go where they are needed. The balance has been maintained. I'm not sure. Yes, it worked. That card's backwards. I don't know why it's like that. But there we go. Aha. All right, so now we got a leveled up Shen working for us. We got this Katarina. I'm gonna go with this Fae Guide. Just get this thing elusive. Yeah, because I, I was worried about Infinite... I mean, I guess Infinite Mind Splitter we would pick up Katarina. So we don't have to be that worried about Infinite Mind Splitter. Do I let them challenge Shen? Yeah, the barrier kills Trundle if they if they challenge. Bow to your king. I'm not afraid. My father's blade. Fey Guide's not afraid of you, Trundle. Katarina, get another attack. 
And then probably Katarina again, get another attack. Or we could just might this fake guide. I find them unworthy. I think it's probably better just to play, replay Katarina, right? All right, GG's. Yeah, it kind of plays around Hush a little bit better, I guess. It looked like us not playing the Might and then getting Hushed. But, yeah. That was a sweet game against the Trundle deck, that's for sure. We got to do a bunch of cool stuff that game. That was a really cool Stand United with the Shen to take down the first Trundle. And then we had leveled up Shen, so then Spirit's Refuge just acted as repost um, with the fey guide to take down the second trundle that was pretty sweet this deck's just cool this deck is fun to play we're not really doing too much with swole squirrel honestly the best version of this deck probably doesn't have swole squirrel but i think there's something to this of like this ionia noxus support um even fey guide's good but fey guy shen Cato. there's probably a better card to be playing than swole squirrel honestly that's probably the weakest card in our deck um, honestly, and that, that card's probably just another one drop. This deck could probably use another one drop <clears throat> to be supporting and everything. And if I would play another one drop, I'd play the fearsome one. Um, the precious pet. That's what we would play as another one drop. Cause that one's hard to block. And then if you, if you like pump up that thing with like Lulu and make it really large and fearsome, like that's pretty good. Um, I would I'd rather have Swole Squirrel than Battering Ram. Battering Ram honestly is not good enough for constructed. It's it's not it's too it's too expensive, too slow. Much rather have Captain Farron or you know there's probably about a dozen cards between four and six mana I'd rather have than Battering Ram. Unfortunately, sorry Battering Ram. Sorry. Um But um, <laughs> yeah, but I would, yeah, I'd rather still just have Soul Squirrel. Uh, let's see. Yeah, that's, that's probably the one change to maybe make if you want to, if you want to kind of take this out of meme tier and make it more competitive is maybe you would just take out Soul Squirrel and play Precious Pet. Now, like, let's see, like, that's going to help you curve out better, but that is going to make you worse against like Avalanche, right? That, that will make you worse there. And then it would, you'd probably play one Whirling Death, three Culling Strike. Culling Strike has been awesome for me, for us. That's actually something that maybe we should just be doing anyway. But the reason why we're playing Whirling Death is to try to get more strikes in with the Swole Squirrel. Um, that's kind of the thinking there. But anyway, that's that's our deck. That's Swole Cat. It's still doing good, it's still being a lot of fun to play. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there, and of course, feel free to leave those comments. Let me know if you got any ideas for taking it to the next tier. Um, but, but if you try this deck out yourself, let me know how it goes. Hopefully it's going well for you. But thank you so much for watching some Swole Cat, and I'll see you for the next video.